Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to go over some things regarding Samsung Unpacked specifically focusing on the new Samsung watch. So this would be the Samsung Galaxy Watch 7. Here are some things I like to really see Samsung push and some things that I think that Samsung needs to improve on when it comes to the Samsung watch. So just so you know, the Samsung Unpacked event will be on July 10th, just, just to put it out there, just so you know which date it is. So one of the things that I've always had a problem with when it comes to Samsung watches is just how laggy the software is. I think that this is probably the number one thing that just drives me crazy when it comes to Samsung. There's sometimes way too much lag with the Samsung watches. Like you'll swipe down to see the notification panel. It'll literally take like three seconds to show you that animation because for whatever reason the watch was somewhere else it was doing something else secondly the watch battery life i think it could be extended and i know that some samsung watches can last you for just over two days depending on your usage this is very variable dependent and every user will have a different experience however i wish that we could expand a bit more to maybe more than three days the trade-offs are just still too great I know Samsung is ahead of the game when it comes to battery life, but in general, I think they could still improve a lot, a lot more. Now, one thing that I love about Samsung watches is the bezel that they have. However, I think that the bezel still hasn't been properly, especially software-wise, been implemented. And the reason for that is that sometimes when you're on the home screen, for some reason, the watch, instead of going right, it goes to the left and it's it happens so often, it's frustrating. And you have all these glitches throughout the operating system. And I'm not too sure why that is. I think, is it because they're using the Google operating system? I have no idea. But the thing is, it's very annoying that Samsung watches still have a lot of bugs when it comes to the operating system. Again, if you use an Apple watch, oh man, like it's not even... It's not even a competition really to compare both of them. Now, Samsung is catching up and a lot of the things that they have introduced in the ecosystem are great. I think that finally, you know, they actually have real competition to Apple who was to this day was really far ahead of the game. However, I do think that the Samsung watch can still improve a lot, especially when it comes to widgets. If you have used a Samsung watch, you will notice that the widgets sometimes take a long time to load. When it's showing you the battery life, sometimes the watch itself will display the incorrect charge percentage on the watch on its own charging widget so that is pretty alarming because it it basically means like the whole thing is wrong it can even tell you that it's charging properly on its own widget <laughs> so yeah that needs to get changed and it needs to be improved but i really look into how the watch tracks my heart rate so when it comes to like sleeping for example i would notice that for some reason samsung watches always tell me my oxygen levels have dropped below like something like 80% or something like that while I sleep. Not once has the Apple Watch done that and it happens with every single Samsung watch that I have used so far. And the other day I was watching YouTubers also show that the Samsung watch was doing the same thing to them and I have no idea why the Samsung watch does that. I know it's not a medical device so do not use it for medical purposes but it's just really annoying. Like, why is it even a feature if it's just gonna give you incorrect numbers anyway? It's really strange. And uh, Apple Watch has never done something like that to me. So I know it's a Samsung Watch specific. I don't know if it's a bug. I don't know if it's the algorithm. And I really wish that the Samsung Watch could be a little bit more accurate so we could really use some of that information to our own betterment of our health. And one final thing I'd really like to discuss is I really think it would be beneficial and I think almost any app or any smartwatch at this point should really start implementing features that we shouldn't be having to pay to third party apps when they themselves have so much data and the resources to implement functions that work way better than having a third party app. But anyway, those are basically the things that I really wish get better when it comes to the next Samsung watch. I know I may sound like I want some the Samsung watch to become like the new Apple watch. I'm not saying become the new Apple watch. I'm just saying be better. I feel like Samsung has completely stagnated when it comes to the Samsung watch. I know that they've recycled the chipsets of old Samsung watches and then put them on the next iteration Samsung watch. And yes, they have introduced new stuff like the Google Assistant. Um, they obviously changed from Tizen to the new Google operating system, wearable um, OS, but it hasn't, it's sort of like stagnated and it's stuck there. But I think that's everything for me. 
I am really excited for Unpacked this year. I'm sure they'll introduce something really cool. I hope it's a great show this time. And the new foldables. Oh, Samsung and the foldables. God, I love those things. Anyway, um, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And stay tuned for Unpacked. And hopefully we can talk more about it. And I'll see you in the next one.